Now to a CBS 2 investigators exclusive. A state inspector caught on camera groping a doggy daycare owner in Bucktown. Tonight we're learning he won't face criminal charges. That inspector was fired after we first broke the story last summer. Soon after, many other accusers came forward. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey is digging into why prosecutors aren't pursuing the case. I didn't know what to do. So just like let it happen and be over. It wasn't just her word against his. It was all caught on tape. The rounds video shows Guillen inching closer until they were touching. Department of Agriculture inspector Jose Guillen was caught on camera repeatedly inspecting more than just doggy daycare owner Leah Bindig's business in 2019. Touching her against her will, her shoulders, back, rear end, pressing himself up against her while holding the results of her inspection over her. He's holding the clipboard as he's hugging me, and it's not signed off yet that we passed. And then, what, so what do I do? What do I do? Tell him to stop? Oh, she is. Aww. What Leah didn't realize when she talked to us was that she was not the first. Shook my hand, pulled me in, and then the hand went down from the middle of my back to the top. <laughs> nearly a dozen female business owners came forward to the CBS2 investigators with nearly identical stories of sexual harassment. I thought he was going to shake my hand. He sort of put his arm out, shake my hand, and he pulled me, he hugged me, and the next thing I knew, there was a hand on my butt. And at least four of them went to Chicago police to report the abuse after our story aired. I knew it was wrong, but he had all the power. He controlled whether or not I got the license. Leah told me the moment they all met at the police station was incredibly emotional. We didn't know that there was like other women, <clears throat> sorry, that it had happened to. And part of me, like regrets that I didn't come forward sooner because of the fact that if I had, there's some women that it happened to afterwards. Jose Guillen was fired by the Department of Agriculture after our story aired. Prosecutors told Leah's legal team. Because it seems pretty cut and dry. They were looking at a charge of official misconduct because this and the other alleged encounters all happened while Guillen was on the clock, getting paid by Illinois taxpayers. What he's doing is in violation of the law and that he's doing it in his official capacity on behalf of the state. But six months later, and these victims were told the Cook County State's Attorney's Office was declining to pursue charges. When I asked why, I was simply told no comment. So touching my rear end wasn't enough. Saying inappropriate comments wasn't enough. I mean, you know, tell me, Kim Fox, like, at what point physically, how far would he have to have gone to where you say that's inappropriate? I think that the chances are very good that we can stop this behavior by interrupting it. Katha Morris Hoffer agrees it's hard to fathom how these complaints don't fall under official misconduct. She's the executive director at Chicago Alliance Against Sexual Exploitation, or CASE. It's very reasonable for victims to interpret a, a refusal to prosecute him as an expression of um, of minimization of what happened uh, to the women. She says it falls in line with their report looking at decades worth of crime data in which sex crime survivors who reported it to Chicago police faced grossly inadequate responses. At least a criminal charge would have sent some sort of message that, hey, there is something that can happen to you if you're going to behave like this. As for Guillen, he did not respond to our multiple requests for comment, but he did sit for a video deposition. You said there's no way of knowing that she said yes to this contact? Or that she said no. Where he at first claimed he had nonverbal consent to touch her because Leah was smiling at him and claimed she made the first move, even though the raw surveillance video we saw shows otherwise. Nonverbal consent doesn't exist with everybody just in this instance. And why did it exist? But later in the deposition, the explanation completely changed, and he claimed that at one point he was falling and used Leah's rear end to catch his balance. So were you, were you then falling? I was keeping my balance to make sure I didn't fall. Okay. And to keep your balance, you ended up touching her buttocks? That's correct. Um, there was nothing else for you to stop yourself from um, no. losing balance? No. Leah says even a disappointing setback like this one won't stop her from speaking out. At what point, like, does this stop? 
Yeah. I mean, some may say it's, it's, you know, it's not as bad as other physical violations, but this is how it starts. Again, the Cook County State's Attorney's Office declined to comment for our story. There is still a pending civil case against Jose Guillen, but the state of Illinois claimed immunity and has been dismissed from the case. Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. And we also reached out to Guillen's attorney for comment on the story. She responded, no comment.